They're on a mission. They're going places. And they want you to come along. So, get ready. Because they want you to come fly with us. Ansi, what are you doing? Shh. Are you listening to it? Um, it's Paul. I don't think he likes the idea of flying much. Do you think he can maybe fly just a little? Huh? Great. I think I'm ready. Great. I can't wait for the whoops, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, the table. Whoa, whoa. Excuse me. Have you got your passport ready? Yep, all ready to go. And I can't wait to get away from it all. Look what they pushed through the cockpit window when we stopped at the intersection. Increase your money, lose weight fast, get your lover back, enlarge your fuselage. <laughs> Leave it always. It's crazy out there. We need this trip. We're going to collect quite a few passport stamps on this trip that we've got planned. Aren't you on a diet? Nee, wat? A nieuwe oma had hoop by energie nodig. Maar, but... Anyway, this cancels it out. Oh, I see. I can't wait to see, I mean see, where we're going to be and where the places is that we're going to be. see? Shh, oh, it's a surprise! Oh, all right, I know. Sorry. Well, we seem to be missing our captain. She's probably late. She's always late, you know, coming from Pretoria with the traffic there. This is OR Tambo. Come in, Airtron. This is Charlie Strun. I mean, Airtron. We've cleared you for takeoff. Ons wacht het vir die kaptein. Um, Stop mixing your languages, man. Sorry, we're just waiting for the captain. Well, that's just the thing. The runway is not clear for takeoff anymore. We've got an incoming, um, Harley? I'm coming. Sorry, guys. Finally, she's here. About time. Traffic, and then there was this Harley sale. Anyway, time for takeoff. Whoop. Yay! Whoop. So, Ansi, how, how do we navigate to our dest, uh, dest, the place that we're going to? It's very, very easy. Yes, like English. All you need is a passion for travel and a clear flight plan. Look at your statement and make sure you adjust your plan should you go off course. Obviously, upfront planning started in July 2013 already. Please fly to highlighted route. Easy peasy. Ansi, seriously, a tom tom? No, a tron tron. At least we'll reach our destination. Plus, it's a woman navigator voice. So when we get lost, it won't be embarrassed to ask for directions. Oh, Joburg. I can see some of the things it's famous for. Look over there. The Mandela Bridge. The Hillbrow Tower. Ponty. Hi, Jacka. Where? Hi, Jackers. Oh. It will be good to get away from it all. Just for a while. I can't wait to reveal the trip that we have planned. Turn left at Gabon and fly for 12 hours. 12 hours? We can't expect them to watch this video for 12 hours. We could. I have a better idea. Let's tune in and see if there are any local stations that will be playing any of the music of the destinations that we'll be visiting. That's an excellent idea. I've got just the station. Let's listen. This is your captain speaking. We depart from our Tambo on the 9th of October and arrive in London, Heathrow, on the 10th of October we will board Virgin Atlantic and head to JFK Airport, New York. The Big Apple, the city that never sleeps, where high finance, architecture, fashion, history, fine arts and cuisine from all corners of the universe are weaved into a colourful tapestry of high tech and tradition. After our arrival in the Big Apple, we will hop on board a 75-minute Liberty Harbour cruise where we'll experience and hear about the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island and the World Financial Centre and stare at remarkable skyscrapers. After the cruise, we'll stop for lunch at Applebee's for a Broadway lunch of hamburgers, french fries, soft drinks and seasonal dessert. From the 10th to the 12th of October, we'll be staying in the heart of New York City's theatre district, close to the famous Times Square. This means you have access to shopping, walking, eating, and did I mention shopping? And of course, we couldn't miss a show on Broadway. 
October the 12th begins early for us as we head out of the Big Apple, south to Orlando. We're just getting warmed up here. On arrival at Port Canaveral, we will be embarking on the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas for a cruise. Imagine it, you share a high five with Shrek, catch your first run movie in a 3D theater poolside under the stars in an outdoor movie screen. It's going to be awesome. Oh, and there's probably shopping too. Then on Monday the 13th of October, we set sail and leave Port Canaveral behind and head for Labadee, Haiti. My turn. We arrive on the north coast of Haiti, which is surrounded by beautiful pristine mountain slopes and exotic foliage. Pristine beaches, breathtaking scenery, and spectacular water activities. Though I think you'll be saying, show me the shopping. There's so much to do or not to do if you want to just chill. But for you shopaholics, you can shop for beautiful handmade local artwork, woodwork and crafts. Then we set sail on October the 15th for Valmouth on the north coast of Jamaica. Welcome on. In today's Falmouth, you can enjoy 19th century Georgian architecture, bamboo raft rides, as well as arts and crafts shopping, very important, and you can get around on horse and buggy rides. Oh, and one of the things to do while you're sunning yourself in Falmouth is shopping for bargains. Next we set sail to Georgetown, Grand Cayman, one of a group of three tropical islands. With so much to choose from, the 16th could be spent snorkeling with stingrays, or we could decide to tour the charming city, visit an interactive sea turtle nursery, or just shop till you drop. Grand Cayman has been nicknamed Brand Cayman by savvy shoppers who know the island's reputation for fabulous, duty-free prices on designer merchandise. Then on to Cozumel, Mexico, arriving on the morning of October 17th. All you shoppers will be pleased to know that the conquistadors of old first saw Cozumel while searching for gold. If it's gold you want, then the gold and silver jewelry shops of San Miguel are some of the finest. But all that glitters is not all gold. Take in the gorgeous views, the many local restaurants and bars. You can play and interact with dolphins, explore pyramids and ancient cities. Or just sit back and relax on the Playa Mia beach. There is so much to do here. All good things unfortunately have to come to an end. We set sail from Cozumel on the evening of the 17th of October and head back to the USA, dock in the morning of the 18th at Port Canaveral. An optional visit to the Kennedy Space Center could be on your list, it's definitely on mine. At 6 p.m. that evening, we depart from Orlando and fly back to London Gatwick, where we will get on board another flight and head home to Johannesburg, arriving on the 21st of October. What was that? We might have to turn around. Try and avoid that cloud. Why? It's a toll gantry. We'll pay the fees when we get back. Right now it's New York. Come on, everybody, sing. New York! It's up to you, New York.